Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Today I'm going to uh, show you another cook set of mine, which uh, as you're watching, if you watch my other videos, you realize I got a lot of them. Um, just for, make them for different reasons and just for fun. Anyway, this is actually one I uh, kind of use on a fairly regular basis. And uh, this setup uh, I put together probably uh, actually before the, uh, the 600 and the 750 milliliter cook sets that I've shown before. And uh, this, this one I actually take with me when I go out Nordic skiing well, and backcountry skiing. And uh, it's originally, oh, I was going to bring that out, right? Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it kind of started with, uh, decided to add this piece here to make some tea in the backcountry just for fun. I used to just bring a thermos of tea, but then I just started bringing this just, just something to play with at lunchtime when we stop for lunch. Um, when I when I go uh, skiing, I'm not one of these that, that makes a quick loop back to the parking lot for lunch, another quick loop, and then back to the parking lot and blast home. Uh, we When I go out with my buddy, we're usually out. To, it's a, pretty much an all-day thing. And we'll stop for lunch for, for probably a good hour. I'll set up and uh, just relax and brew some tea and just enjoy the, the countryside before we ski out. And... Uh, Anyway, so I decided just to add this, and uh, kind of all started, I'll start with this piece here. Um, I bought this Ollie Camp aluminum cup, and uh, originally, you know, when I started putting together my um, skiing stuff for foreseeable reasons, you know, if you're out there and you got to stay over, you might need to melt snow for, for water or whatever, and it's going to be hard to do if you don't have something metal to, to heat it up in if you start a fire on the snow so uh used to carry the old sierra club cup not the best but you know it's what i had i just threw in my pack just more for emergency reasons uh but then when i decided uh, decided i saw these at the local uh, outdoor store and i thought hey these are pretty sweet because they nest inside or a an algae water bottle which i use nest inside and then then i doesn't take up any extra room so uh, I added this to the kit so then I uh, just carried this and again you know if I had an emergency I could always you know just start a fire and uh, boil water heat uh, I always carry tea bags and stuff kind of as a backup but uh, so this was this was standard standard part of my kit then I decided to add this uh, other little bit just to brew tea instead of bringing a thermos of tea like I used to I had one of those uh, Nissan uh, stainless steel bullet uh, thermoses, which really work great, but uh, actually this whole setup is lighter than the uh, stainless steel thermos itself. So anyway, so uh, now here's the, I guess you just call this my tea kit. <laughs> um, and I guess as uh, I would move along, I'll give you some of the weights of this gear now, and, and I'll put a more detailed one down in the description box. But this, uh, just this uh, Ollie Camp aluminum uh, cup weighs 3.7 ounces or 104 grams. Uh, this kit here, as, as it sits, is 8.1 ounces or 334.5 gram, grams. And, up, oh, oh, back up, I'm sorry, getting ahead of myself. This is 8.1 ounces or 229.6 grams. The, this bit together comes out to 11.8 ounces if you do the math and uh, 33 4.5 grams okay okay and uh, the stuff sack here is just an uh, inexpensive uh, stuff sack I got at uh, at Walmart okay I guess started out I've got my standard uh, two ounce alcohol bottle from a uh, one shot energy drink container couple of uh, tea bags, Constant Comet, my uh, standard outdoor tea. Okay, and then uh, I've got a ground pad for the stove. Now this is before I started using the, uh, the old uh, political sign, corrugated plastic sign, and coated with, uh, covered with uh, aluminum foil. This is an old chunk of Insulite pad that uh, I've had around forever. Back in the day, back in the 70s and before, Insulite was the, it's the ground pad to use. It predates blue foam and all the other 
high tech foams you see out of there. So I had an old piece and I cut off a square because I figured this is going to insulate from the snow since I built this for a snow kit. And covered it with foil and I just taped it. <laughs> uh, probably weight wise, it's, it's, it's probably as, as light as some of the other stuff and it weighs um, 0.3 of an ounce. That's 8.5 grams. So that's the ground pad. What else do I got in here? Oh, I needed a lid. Of course, these pots don't come with a lid, so I needed a lid just to, you know, improve boil times. So I actually went out and bought this Tokes lid, which weighs 0.6 ounces or 17 grams. So now I got a lid for this. Okay, and then I dug out my old cup. Now, um, let me take this stuff out. This is a uh, way back when. It's a 12 ounce plastic cup and tumblers they called it and I think I bought this back in the early 70s when I started uh, backpacking and etc and uh, it's like uh, it's plastic I like it because it doesn't burn your lips and it it's not real heavy it's 1.4 ounces or 39.6 grams so that's the cup I like to drink out of and hold it off on the side sentimental reasons I use this now but anyway so inside the cup I have my um, Fancy Feast alcohol stove. And this particular model is one made with uh, the uh, tomato paste can, which makes it a little bit 0.4 grams heavier, in this case 0.5. And inside there I've got uh, mini Bic lighter, waterproof matches, and this is a little pill container that I, I keep my sugar in, which I've on my other videos, I always have a little bit of sugar to add to the Constant Comet to bring out the orange peel flavor. Other than that, that's all I use it for. Or if I'm with somebody that wants a cup of tea and they, they're sugar junkies, they can also use it. But uh, So the stove fits on here on the snow, and I figured it works pretty good. And then uh, for a windscreen, instead of, I have been using the uh, Foster's Can windscreens, but before all of that I used to use good old-fashioned aluminum foil and uh, that you know you could just unfold and uh, makes a really nice uh, windscreen it's always worked uh, for me but I think I went to the other the uh, Foster's ones just because they're a little bit lighter and they fit come more compact in the uh, in the thing this is probably more than you really need but it's what I got and aluminum foil is pretty light I think this windscreen here as big as you saw it is uh, 0.5 half an ounce or 14.17 grams so but probably the I'm not I'm not in a lot of this I, I like to keep stuff light but I'm not a, a gram weenie as they say or too worried about it because I bring, when I go out skiing, I bring enough stuff that if I get stuck out, that, you know, I'll be okay. Extra clothing, especially when we're sitting for an hour, you can cool down pretty quick. Uh, and I'm not worried about carrying a little bit extra weight because I'm out for the exercise, you know. I think a lot of these people I see out there, they, you know, in, the, in their spandex, uh, go whipping around the course. You know, if, if something happens to them, some of the people might be in big trouble because uh, you blow a knee or an ankle, uh, you know, by the time somebody could come to bail you out, uh, you could be dead because uh, hypothermia doesn't take very long. So I have enough stuff that if I need to, I'll, I'll, I feel confident that I'll be okay. So, and like I said, you know, it's funny that you go out there roaring around the track, you know, trying to get uh, trying to get that cardio, get that blood pressure up, but then they then they skimp. They won't bring an ex, you know ha, ha, a little extra gear for uh, to to protect them, but. You know, just like the people at the gym, go to the gym and then they take the elevator up to the second floor. Uh, <laughs> they just roll your eyes is all you can do. So anyway, so uh, this has big butterfly handles, which are nice. And let's see, what else we got on this? Uh, that's, that's pretty much uh, it for my uh, little cook kit I bring. Uh, when I go uh, backcountry skiing. I don't know, I might uh, just uh, swap it out one of these days. 
uh, for, for like my 750 milliliter because it has that nice insulated uh, cup from uh, my 17 my Tokes 750 milliliter cook set because it has that uh, the Stanley insulated cup which would be really nice too it only holds 10 ounces where this holds 12 which is no big deal so but oftentimes I, I always have this I bring this cup uh, summer winter because even in the summer if you have to you know you want to boil some water or make some tea just to, if you're <laughs> get lost or something and uh, another thing I found nice about having these these heavy cups it's good for scoop, scooping snow in the summertime. If I see a big snow patch, you know, I scoop up ice and stick it in my in my water bottle. I usually bring little iced tea with fresh snow, shake that up, and that's that's good. That's living. That's living. And um, usually when I'm skiing, I also melt snow with this just to save a little bit of on water. But, but I this is in the pack all the time. So if I want to bring the tea kit, I can always just throw this this little piece in but like I say I might swap it out and try to use my other cook sets with it but let's see thanks enough yammering for now and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye